All right. I think we're live. Let's do some satisfactory. Hey, we made a friend. Although, I don't know. I don't know. Friend might not be the right word for my relationship with this thing. Now, the question is, is he alone? That was weird. I could hear myself. All right. Let's kill our friend. <laughs> hey, it's going to try to kill me if I don't kill it. There we go. All right. So if you want to play Satisfactory with me, this is a server. Um, the IP address that I think you need to join me is listed in my Discord in the uh, in the Satisfactory channel. Oh, there's a bunch of goodies over there. Should I go get them? There's two of those whatever crazy dog things. So I don't want to call them dogs because, you know, I don't want to have to kill dogs. But there's also a lot of good stuff there that will be helpful in building my initial factory. So I'm going to go. Worst case scenario, I can just run away from them, right? In theory. Let's try to do one at a time, though, here, if we can. All right, perfect. Where's the other one? Come here, you. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Perfect again. Nice. Lawless victory. No damage taken. Modular frames. Industrial beams. That stuff's not really going to be useful early on. This will be, though. 360 wire. What would be really good, though, what I would like to see is some, some more reinfor reinforced iron plates. I don't see any. All right, so if there's anybody out there who's never played Satisfactory before, um, you're not going to believe this, but you build a factory in it. So you basically, you, you crash land on this planet. Um... There is going to be like a big story eventually, but it is not in the game at this point of early access. So at this point, you're just trying to build a factory. You unlock more techs, you unlock more parts. Um, and as you go down the tech tree, eventually you get to a point where you need to uh, send a bunch of goods off into the sky. And that's how you win right now. But, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a long. <laughs> There's a lot. It's not It's not quick to get to that point. So we're gonna we're gonna try to build a factory. Like I said, if anybody wants to come help me, you're welcome to join. I believe you just need to take the IP address that's on my Discord and uh, and put it into the server manager. I think is how it works. That's how I connect it anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's really all there's to it. I, I this is my first time on a dedicated server, but because I'm like the host. My experience setting up was a little different than yours might have been. But if you're trying to join it and you can't, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. And I'll try to try to help you get on. Is it just me right now? Is there a way to tell? Yes. Just Luchera. That's fine. And if nobody's, you know, available to join me, I know it's Thanksgiving right now. My American viewers are probably uh, busy eating eating football and watching turkeys. That's how it works, right? Arguing with family members? <laughs> or is that just how Thanksgiving works in Canada? All right, so let's grab some iron here. I mean, we got to we gotta clear out these big things anyway because we're not going to be able to put miners on these as long as those are there. So let's just clear them out and we'll turn this iron into iron bars. And then maybe some plates or some rods or, you know, something, something useful. I think there's three. I was going to say there should be three of these iron patches right here. So this is the third. Perfect. So let's grab this one. And then we're going to start, uh, we're going to start building stuff. First of all, we need to build the hub. Like we're, obviously I started a brand new save <laughs> for update five. So we're starting fresh here right from the beginning all right the hub let's just I mean, we can always move this later um which end has the power this end i think right so let's put it right about there i think there's a couple more iron over here actually if i'm where i think i am well i, I know i'm where I, if my memory serves me correctly i guess is what i should be saying except i don't think they made any massive map changes in update five um, they made like some cosmetic changes, but not to this part of the map. So I, I've played and 
I've restarted this game more times than I can count. So I've played in all four starting areas. And I don't know. I just like this one the best. And other people, I'm sure, like other ones better. And that's perfectly valid. I don't know. I just like this one for whatever reason. Stupid bugs. I can't wait till I get the sword thing. So much better than this stupid little zapper. Eh, eh, eh. Like, come on. Useless. All right. So let's get this iron. And actually, while we're down here, we might as well grab some limestone. Right? And we might as well heal while we're at it. Actually, we sh I should probably put a miner on this limestone. Right? Should probably I probably should have put some miners on iron already as well, but... I didn't. That's fine. We'll manage. Grab some more nuts. And grab some limestone. And I think there's another limestone over there, too. It's down, down the hill a little bit. I think. It's, it's been a minute since I played Satisfactory last. But I think there's limestone. So, yeah, there's the five iron there. There's limestone here, limestone down here. And then there's two copper right over there. Yeah, there's the other limestone. Let's uh, let's cut the top off this one. We can go and turn this into concrete. Cause you need a lot of concrete. Oh boy, does this game need a lot of concrete. Concrete for days. The whole world is going to be concrete by the time we're done with it. All right, so anything else down here? Not really. So let's go back up to the hub and get started. All right, so we got some nuts. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make some biomass. We're going to turn some of these leaves and pieces of wood that we've been picking up. We're going to turn those into biomass, and then we're going to start burning them, and then we'll start automating stuff. I'm going to try to avoid handcrafting whenever possible. I want to try to automate as much as I can this run, but there's going to be stuff that gets handcrafted. It's just inevitable. So we're going to, obviously, except we're going to, handcraft some stuff we're gonna handcraft some biomass i think i think i can make biomass right now right yes actually i can make a lot of biomass with all this wood so let's do that and then wait well let's go throw yeah i'm gonna throw one miner here i'm gonna throw one miner on the copper just in case we need some Let's go over the copper. I think I need to fight over there. I think there's more stupid little insects over here. Might as well grab some more leaves and woods while we're here, right? When in Rome and all that. This planet is not called Rome, though, unfortunately. It is planet Massage B23 something something. Bunch of numbers and letters. Yeah. Hey, get out of here. Oh, I can't wait to get the better weapon. So much better. Alright, grab some more nuts to heal up. And let's go fight the friend, their friends over here. Some more bug buggity bugs. Ow. Jerks. I mean, to be fair, they were trying to sleep and I woke them up, so I understand why they're angry. I mean, nobody wants to get woken up, right, when you're trying to have a nap or whatever. Still, I mean, I'm still going to fight back. I mean, I didn't try to wake them up. You know, I mean, if they could have slept through me mining and stuff, I was fine leaving them here, but not how it works, unfortunately. So they got to go. They got to die. It's just that simple. So I am going to heal up. I can't wait to the point where you get more than one hand slot so I don't have to do this switching of items constantly. will be nice. Grab you. Put one of you there. Grab this. And then we'll go make some biomass, and then we'll start... Start making our first little starter factory. It's going to be ugly, but it's temporary, so it doesn't need to look good. We'll, you know, we'll try to make stuff look good later. But for now, we just want it to work. That's all that really matters at this point, is having it work. All right, so biomass. Priority number one. So it's much more efficient to burn biomass than it is to burn wood or leaves directly. So we got we got two stacks of biomass. That's all we really want for now. Let's throw some of this junk in here. Throw you in there. Throw you. Um, not those. Not those. Those can go in there. Those can go in there. 
put the wooden leaves in there for now. We'll make more biomass out of them later. Yeah, and let's turn our limestone into concrete as well while we're here. Right quick. Here's a pro tip for you too. If you're handcrafting and you're getting sick of holding down the mouse button to do it, you can also hold down your space bar. Or if you and if you have something like your phone or like like this pocket knife is enough to weigh down my space bar, right? Hands free, baby. It's awesome. That's a little pro tip. Generally, when you watch me, you're learning what not to do. But occasionally I come up with an actual good tip. <laughs> and that's that's the good tip for today. Alright, so we got we got biomass, we got power. So let's make power pole. Let's connect it to both. And then let's make another power pole. And then we will need can we make a miner, an iron miner? And belts and all that right now? Yes. So let's pick this up. I guess we didn't really need to put that there. Spin you around. Perfect. We'll we will bring power closer, but for now. Put the smelter right. It is much easier to line stuff up once you have uh, foundations, but we don't have foundations yet, but we'll manage. So there we go. Perfect. So let's bring this power here in intermediate pole. Because you can only do four connections to each pole. So it's always good to kind of put extra poles like in the middle in between where you're going. All right. So that is making iron. So let's take this iron that we have in our inventory let's just fill it up now so let's check our power pole so we we make 40 see capacity 40 power we're consuming nine right now so we're, we're plenty good on power so let's get another miner over here on say this one and we will put a smelter right about here let's run some belts and then let's make a couple of constructors we will turn these iron ingots into something useful put one there put one right about there that is not where I wanted that but you know what it works because again this is all extremely temporary alright so this one we will make iron plates and let's bring in some power over here. Put you right here, and we can hook up all three off this one pole. But now this pole is done. It's at four or four connections, right? If we try to connect more, can't. See that four or four there? That's fine. We got what we wanted. So let's make iron ingots. Let's put the iron we have in there, put it to use. And then we will make iron rods. Now that we're doing all this, let us check our power. So we are now using, we're currently using 18 of our 40 power. But if all the machines we have ran at the same time, we'd be using 22. See that max consumption, 22. So we do have to keep an eye on this. This is the worst part of early satisfactory is managing power. Because once you get to the point where you have coal power, um, it kind of runs itself. Whereas here, we got to run over here periodically and got to make sure we have biomass. Now, obviously, you know, it's been running for three minutes, <laughs> right? It's good. And this doesn't have power yet, does it? Let's change that. There we go. Okay, so let's make a storage container to catch these. And then let's make a storage container to catch these. Boom. Perfect. So we got iron rods. We got iron plates. These are like the basics. The very, very basics. So let's now get some copper stuff. So let's run power over to our copper. And we'll start making some copper wire over here. And then probably next on our hit list will be getting some concrete made. I would say. All right, so we got power, somewhat local. Let's just go pick up this miner. I probably didn't need to put this miner here or the one on the iron, but whatever, it's fine. 
production minor mark one now we are starting to get low on iron plates so we got to be careful we don't want to go too crazy so we'll keep everything fairly close here so we don't need to make because every as you make belts it just uses iron plates and the longer the belt the more plates it uses and they don't want to use crazy dropping by to say hi i'm doing good how are you doing clone drone in the danger zone <laughs> i like your name all right so let's uh okay we need power and we need a constructor now constructors use reinforced iron plates which is not something i can really make right now so i can make one more constructor and then I'll, that'll be it until i can get more reinforced iron plates but for now that is good use of my materials i think so we will make wire here and let's get power here and here all right everything's hooked up so max consumption now is 39 so this is literally all we can run right now until we get more power this is fine this is the basics this is the the key although i, I would like to get some concrete being made automatically but that can wait until we get more power although i can make a biomass burn right now i can expand my power right now so maybe we should do that. I keep forgetting you can you, you can skip the tutorial now, like the tutorial stage, which I did um, here. So I'm kind of, I keep thinking that I don't have stuff unlocked yet that I do have it unlocked because of that. Like I was thinking for some reason in my head, I needed to unlock power. And that's not the case. I already have power unlocked. What can we unlock though here? Let's take a peek. Uh, right here base building which is foundations but for foundations there's no point in doing this until we have uh concrete automated so let's do logistics first so we need 150 iron plates 150 iron rods 300 wire for that but we are making all that automatically right so we will have it so let's do that let's check to see how many uh See how many rods and plates we got built up here. Probably not enough. Actually, before we do that, well, do I want to? Let's get more power first. Well, let's, uh, so where do we want? Probably right along here, we'll get a row of these biomass burners going. For now, we'll just do one right about here. Sure. So there we go. Bring that here and then bring it over here. That up. Okay, so we're going to need some more biomass. I could also automate the production of biomass, which I probably should. So let's grab some more wood out of storage here. And let's turn this wood into biomass. Oh, I did I did it backwards. <laughs> I put my wood away instead of taking it out. Okay. Oh my god. There. That's what I was trying to do. Love to stay, but gotta beat Minecraft, my friends. And we mean beat it. All achievements. Alright. Thanks for coming out and stopping by. Good luck with the Minecraft. Um 100 percent that's certainly not a game I've ever 100 percented so uh tip of my cap to you and like i said good luck and again thanks for stopping by and i like your name <laughs> all right so i'm just going to turn all this wood into biomass for now so i know i said i didn't want to handcraft overly but yeah at this point at this point it's kind of a necessary evil somewhat all right so now is these so these things here make 40 combined 20 each each of these actually does 30 so now we're up to 70 max so that really opens up a couple options for us so we are going to run some power down this way so we can 
we can take advantage of these iron deposits eventually. Not yet, obviously. We're only using two of the five that we have down here. But let's get uh, let's get some concrete cracking here, because we're gonna need a ton of concrete. A ton. Pick you up. Something hit me there. No, I just kind of fell. Okay. And production minor mark one. And we don't have splitters or anything yet, so we'll just run one constructor off that. You don't need to uh, like convert limestone into ingots. I mean, limestone ingots doesn't make sense in the real world anyway, which is why it doesn't make doesn't happen here. <laughs> um, so let's fill you with limestone. And actually, let's might as well plug you in with this one. So eventually we'll come back because so this game's all about rates. So this limestone makes 60 per minute. And this machine uses 45 per minute. So we're wasting it's not efficient, right? Um so eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something called overclock this machine so that it makes 90 per minute, and then we'll have a splitter here and we'll have it going into two of these. Right, and then it'll be 100% efficient. So in order to overclock, though, we need to get power slugs. This sparkly thing out here, and it's they're blue now. They used to be, uh, oh, I don't know if I can make this jump. Because you get something, you get, I leave footprints? Did I always leave footprints in this game? All right, footprints got me totally sidetracked. Um, later on, you get something that lets you jump further. And this jump will be easy then. Oh, actually, it's easy now, too. Piece of cake. All right, so these slugs, there's three tiers of slugs. I think it's blue, yellow, and purple. Tier one used to be green. So if I accidentally refer to the blue slugs as green, that's why. Because I got hundreds of hours playing this game where they were green, but now they're blue. That's fine. So we'll go we'll go shove this in our uh, in our storage for now. Let's grab some more wood while we're over here. And some more nuts. Gotta have nuts. Because I do not like walking around at less than full health. <laughs> That's just how I play. I know not everybody does. I mean, when you're in your, when you have a big huge factory and you're in your factory, it doesn't matter so much that you're at full health. But I like to be at full health. Alright, so let's grab some nuts here. Grab some nuts over here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot a step. What did I forget, chat? What did I forget over here? Yep, storage container. <laughs> All right, there we go. Store our... Uh, whatchamacallit? Concrete. Concrete. <laughs> oh, and speaking of rates, the belts also move... Uh, 60 items per minute, but you get better belts relatively soon too. Like it doesn't take that long to get the better belts. So what we're going to do right now, well, I want to get logistics done first because getting splitters really, really greatly changes um, your options, like your building options. So that gives us, okay, so that's enough plates. So hopefully we have enough rods, not quite enough rods. Let's grab these and we'll make some rods by hand. Then we'll have enough. And make sure we have enough wire. Because I want, like I said, I want to get uh want to get these logistics milestone unlocked. Because it gives us splitters and mergers, which are key. It really opens up options. Alright. So like yeah, you see that weird thing right there? That's an item called Summer Sloop. It doesn't do anything right now. If you, if you pick it up, it even says, like, Summer Sloop WIP, work in progress on it. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot, too. You can you can parkour under stuff. Forgot about that. All right, so. Plates. Wire. Not quite enough rods, so let's make some rods by hand. Make enough. We'll make enough to get that. We'll make, like, 50 so that we can finish the research and have a few on hand for building like i said that'll give us mergers and splitters and i'm immediately going to use mergers and split Mer I'll, well i'm going to immediately use a merger not a splitter 
just to show what it does. So I made more than I meant to there, but whatever. All right. So let's send these up to the sky gods. Milestone reached. Bye. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your the cargo pod. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes All to right. factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. So that allows us. Activity display will help you measure and improve. So I'm going to put a storage container here. Aid with optimization. Storage. Nope. I am out of iron plates. I am not going to put it in. All right, so let's uh, let's make some iron plates by hand here, since we are fresh out. So we'll, we, I mean, we have these ingots. We might as well do something with them, right? There. Now we don't. So I'll put another storage container here. Oh no! Wait, no. This whole this whole project's gonna have to wait. I forgot that I'm out of reinforced iron plates. Can I make those by hand? I can, but they need screws. We can make some screws. Although I, I hate making this stuff by hand, but I want I need to make a couple more constructors. Uh, okay, there we go. So let's make let's make some plates here. Although we're now we're out of iron plates again, but we should have some in storage. Basically I'm 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 automating biomass is what I'm doing here. Is is the project. All right, let's go grab you. Perfect. So I guess I didn't need to, I could have left these containers here. Oh well, it's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, so now we need a constructor here and a constructor here. So this constructor we will make biomass from leaves. This constructor we will make biomass from wood. And then we will... Alright, so I'm going to put this in slot 5 of my hotbar. Put this in slot 6. I think that's where I usually do them. So then we'll put a merger here. We will take... All the biomass and put it in storage. Although eventually we get something called biofuel that's even better. So when we get to that point, we will pick up this storage and put another constructor here to make biofuel. But that is not right at this moment. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over that right now. So let's power these bad boys up. And you need leaves. Let's grab all my leaves and wood out of storage and get them going. So eventually, too, I get an item called a chainsaw, which lets me give leave. I get leaves and wood like extremely quickly, right? Um, you can go in storage. Everything else will hold on to, I think. So this is the wood, right? Let's put you in there. Put you in there. Let's top up all our power makers here. So what are we at? Max consumption is 56. We make 70. So I, I don't want to go too crazy on building right now until I get more power. That's fine for right now. All right. So our pod is on its way back. There it is. So we can unlock a new milestone now if we wanted. If we have the stuff for it, which I might... Milestone exchange Pro I probably included. don't have anything, but I'm probably close. Um, so field research unlocks another hand slot, more inventory slots. Oh, the MAM is good. Or we can do base building, or we could do see obstacle clearing. Here's there's the chainsaw and biofuel. Maybe I should do that first. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's do foundations, base building. Let's get the foundations going. And ramps and, you know, all that other stuff. All that other good stuff. So, we need concrete, plates, and rods. Let's go check on our concrete here. See how many we have. I need 200. I might have 200. 
I don't know, this doesn't make concrete all that fast. So it's probably not 200, eh, 136, it's getting there. We can come back later, obviously. So I'm probably gonna stop picking up leaves and wood until I get my chainsaw. I think, I don't think I need to rush on that, right? There's no, no big need to rush. All right, so let's grab what, whatever we can for plates and rods here. And what are we, how many, 166 concrete. So yeah, I'm close. I mean, I, I could go, you know, pick up some limestone by hand, right? If I really want to get it done quicker, but eh, <laughs> right? I don't know if that's worth my time. So speaking of time is I kind of have some free time right now because I'm waiting for stuff to happen. So let's put my weapon back in my hand here. Let's go for a little walk, shall we? Let's go. Remember this thing when I that I, I killed a couple enemies at when I first landed? Let's go talk about that a little more. Because um, I didn't really explore what that is fully. Just kind of looked at it. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, I see a slug. I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, I'm... I was gonna say, pretty sure there's an enemy guarding this slug, but that's fine. We can kill this enemy. But he shoots fireballs, so he's kind of scary. And I still have this crappy starter weapon, which I hate. <laughs> but we killed him, so it's fine. And we get another power slug. And then we'll go grab those nuts. And we're going to heal up. And then we're going to go in this cave over... Here. I was going to say, there's just cave here somewhere, isn't there? And there is. I was right. I just looked in the wrong direction <laughs> for the first little bit. But we got her now. We found the cave. All right. And I just need to check Discord right quick. All right. Alright, we're, we're going in. There's a uh, pretty sure there's another slug here on the wall. Right there, yeah. If memory serves. I want to say there's going to be some spiders in here. If you're arachnophobic, you might want to look away. Just saying. Okay, sorry about that. They're there. Because these spiders be creepy. They're not, they're not hard to kill. So it's not, I don't know, I don't mind them. Plus, I'm not arachnophobic. But if you are, I could see why that would not be enjoyable. All right, so that's too high. So we're going to have to build. So let's put a storage container. I think that'll do the trick. Yep. Easy peasy. And then we can just doop, pick that up. Easy peasy. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back and check on everything and see if we have enough for base building. We might, maybe. Yes, I have a dedicated server in a row. Um, the IP address is in the Discord there, in the Satisfactory channel, the Discord. Although I'm not positive that that's the information you need, but I think that's how you join. <laughs> if you want to try, let me know if you're... Uh, if it worked for you, or if it doesn't work. If it worked, I'll know, because I'll see you join the world. <laughs> Am I the only person in here still? Uh, yeah. But if it doesn't work, let me know. But yeah, it's it's a dedicated server, too. It's not just... Like, it's not on my computer. It's, it's a dedicated server. Alright, so what are we doing? We are grabbing these... We definitely got enough of these. So that means we'll... Well, we already have enough rods. I guess we were just waiting for concrete, weren't we? So let's go grab some concrete here. All right. It's all good, man. Well, it's type of thing. Um, the server pauses when nobody's on, which is cool. Um, so I'll be playing it periodically. So I'll get in touch with you over the next couple days. We'll figure out a time. So I, I'm really curious to see 
what some people that have your building skill could do in this game, especially with the new building tools that were added in the last uh, in the last patch in update five. Because I I can't I can't make nice looking builds. We know that. <laughs> I build functional stuff, not not pretty stuff. So I need some people to come join me to help make my stuff look pretty. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so there we go. Base building. Done. Button hit. Milestone reached. All right, so put those away. So now, well, we got to wait two minutes, but we can take a look here. Probably field research. Oh, I'd love to see your factory. I can only imagine. <laughs> This ma'am is pretty important too, but uh, obstacle clearing, just have them biofuel because it burns, takes way longer to to burn than the biomass. That makes everything so much easier, but it's also a lot of things that I don't really have. Although so is this. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's be ready for that. So we're gonna need 300 screws. So let's start making some screws here by hand. I mean, I could automate the screws, but it's too early to be automating screws, in my opinion. Although, you know what I'm going to do, actually? All right, let's top up our power here before we do anything. And we're going to go out in a little adventure. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I, oh, I agree, Ro. I, I do, too. I hate this part of the game. <laughs> well, I don't hate it, but it's, it's so much busy work managing power. So while everything accumulates, I'm going to go... Do some exploring. So yeah, so <laughs> I got sidetracked. I was on my way to this pod earlier. But yeah, I'm only like half hour in a row. So yeah, it takes that. How fast could you get coal power if you really rush it? It's still a couple hours, right? I think even if you rush it. So these pods, and I mean, if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't played this before, so all of these, there's like 50 these in the world and each one has a different thing it needs so this one needs 21 rotors we can't make rotors yet but once we give it the rotors we can open it and it gives us a hard drive that unlocks an alternate recipe for something okay you were played with hooky did you i've mostly played this alone i did have that one run where i played with purple and sea guns but other than that i've always played alone but that that world too was just uh, a French friend. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, when I played with purple and sea guns, that was just hosted on my computer, right? Like this is. So I'm curious how the dedicated server does, because hosting it on my computer was fine, but I did find that like anytime the autosave came in, like my game would lag for like 30 seconds, which was annoying. All right, so we got another slug here. I I already said it. I already I said his name. It's too late, bro. Can't go back now. Um, so yeah, so the, I'm going on a little venture. There's another one of those pods, crashed pods over here, that I know where it is. That I'm pretty sure there's going to be a big pile of screws. Actually, actually, there's one right over here too, but I forget what's around this one i have it on epic 2 bro i don't think it matters like it for joining the server i don't think it matters but i'm i have this on epic as well so i bought it when it first came out when it was only on epic because i don't i'm not i'm not an epic hater <laughs> i mean don't get me wrong i still primarily use steam but i do also use epic and hey, people want to hate Epic, that's fine. I don't, I'm not hating the haters. <laughs> I'm just not one of the haters. All right, smushy smush the bug. Oh, I don't want to explore too. I want to wait till I get the better weapon to really explore like too crazy, you know, if that makes sense. All right, so that looks like a bunch of screws right there, which is what we came for. So let's kill this thing or these things. You wish you had it on Steam? Why? Just because you don't use Epic and you wish you could uninstall it? 
<laughs> I don't use Epic for much. Like, logging into this this week is the first time I've used Epic in, God, I don't know how long. It's been a while. So yeah, there's 357 screws. That's enough screws. Circuit boards, heat sinks, those are things we will not need for a long time. <laughs> but we will need them eventually, so hey, it's good to get some. Um, but what do we need to unlock this? It's just power, 30 megawatts. I think I can do that this right now. Right, so that's... No, it's just one of these. I don't even need two. Right? So I have biofuel. Oop. And, whoop, that's the wrong button. Hook it up. There we go. We got our first hard drive. Yeah, I knew it was power. I don't know. I was, I was just playing dumb. I knew what it was. <laughs> Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. There's the other one. There's another pod right over there on, like, the slope. It has reinforced iron plates around it. And I think it might have rotors around it. Or... I think the one over here, whatever you need to unlock it, is right there, is right around it. I want to say. Maybe not. <laughs> but I know for sure it has reinforced iron plates. So I'm going to go grab those. So by the time we get back to base, we should have quite a few plates and rods and everything built up. And then we can actually start getting stuff done, right? So yeah, that's what this game... The, the, the cycle of this game is you... You build a factory. You automate something. And it starts trickling in. And while that's trickling in, you go out and you either explore or you build another sub factory. And then you come back and you unlock something new. And then you make this better. And it's, you, you have to expand your factory to meet the needs of your factory. <laughs> right? Kind of like, it's like Factorio that way. All right. So I could have swore there were some of those crazy dogs through here. There's another uh, slug. Now, this thing will spit out poison gas. That's fine. Just got to not stay in the poison gas for too long. Speaking of poison gas, there's a bunch of poison gas over there. And we're going to have to fight some bugs. That's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind squashing bugs. Just call me a programmer because I'm squashing bugs. I think it's my job. Another blue slug, which is nice. But yeah, I've rest uh, like I I'm bad for restarting games in general, but this might be one of the worst ones. I've played the first five hours of this game like God, I don't know how many times. Holy crap, does that biome ever look different now? Wow, I knew they redid the biome, but look at the trees over there. Like Row or anybody else who's watching this played this before. <laughs> that those trees were not there <laughs> previously. Wow, I want to go check that out, but that's not why we'll, we'll, go, we'll go check that out later. That's not why we're over here. We're over here for that crash pod right up where my reticle is. There, that's why we came over here. They did kind of take the long way around because I was avoiding that poison gas cloud. Yeah, I think this one, maybe it's frames, but the frames you need are like sitting right there in the ground, I think. All right, so we're going to have to fight another spitter. That's okay. Nope. If we can actually get to him. And you can eventually get guns in this game too, but I, I like the sword. I don't know, there's something really satisfying about swinging the sword in this game. And swinging the sword is not a euphemism there. That's <laughs> just... Anyway, enough about that. Yeah, so nine frames. There we go. Boom. And we have uh, we have another hard drive. Perfect. All right, so, oh, computers. <laughs> we'll need those eventually, but that is not going to be tonight. That's in the future. That is a future Luchara problem. All right, so there's some more screws. I could have swore there was reinforced plates around here somewhere. 
maybe there's not. Don't err right here. 33 iron plates, which is enough to make 15 constructors. Then we got some more frames. And some more screws, it looks like, over here. Just making sure there's nothing else. Oh, here's some knots. Let's grab the knots. Now let's grab these screws. So we shouldn't need to make any screws by hand, right? We have a lot of screws on us now. Which is what this whole trip was about, right? And it was a good time to do the trip. Because that it lets all our uh, our production chains, such as there. Future Lucera is an extremely busy gentleman. Always hates past Lucera. Because past Lucera just puts all the work on future Lucera. But hopefully by the time future Lucera is dealing with computers... Hopefully, Future Lucera has some help. Hopefully, he's not taking on that project alone. Fingers crossed. But if I have to do it alone, I'll do it alone. I'm not scared. I've done it before. <laughs> it generally doesn't look good when I get to that point. My factory starts looking like a mess. But it works. That's the important thing. As long as it works. All right, so we got some enemies over there. Oh, wow, we got a lot of nuts. That's what she said. Sorry. That will be my only that's what she said of the night. I have my limit. I have one per day. I'm allowed one that's what she said per day. It would really be one a week. Right? Anyway, I'm at my limit. Whatever uh, my limit is, I've reached it. All right, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? You're supposed to chase me, not run away from me. Now I feel bad for killing them. So they're like, oh, Lucera is so scary. Oh, here we go. Coming back for more, are you? What about you? Yeah, that's right. Run away. Oh. Hit me. Oh, yeah. Is it worth hitting me? You're dead. And there's your carapace. Um, I thought there was a slug right here. Somewhere. Isn't there a slug around here somewhere? Yes, that's how much I played this game. <laughs> I know. Uh, well, maybe I don't know where all the slugs are. Because I thought there was one right here, but I don't see it. So, because you would see, like, the blue. Like, even if you couldn't see the slug itself, it, may, it does that glow. I don't see the glow. All right, so let's just go back to base. We'll pick up any nuts we see on the way. Or was I just on the wrong hill? No, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, whatever. There's all kinds of slugs out there. I'm not going to lose any sleep over not finding a slug. Yeah, it is easier with the scanner, you're right. But yeah, the, the slugs too... Um, so basically... For anybody who hasn't played, you convert the slugs into power shards, which is what you use to overclock your machines. Um, and the the blue power slugs, the basic ones, they just, it's one to one. One power slug becomes one power shard. So here's another one that I can't get right, or can I get it right now? I thought I needed the chainsaw for this one, but. Oh yeah, maybe I do. Oh, okay, I can get this one right now. Um, but the yellow ones give you three shards. So yeah, so the he spit out poison gas and almost killed me because I was too busy talking. <laughs> the yellow power slugs give three power shards, and the purple power slugs give five. So once you get to the point where like the purple power slugs are generally like hidden or in out of the way areas, but at, at this point I know where there's enough that I won't be hurting for power slugs. That's that's the least of my concerns. That just comes with experience. If you're a newbie, that might be different, right? Ow. <laughs> I took that one right in the gut. Oh, there's two of them, too. Uh, I gotta be careful here, because I am not full health, because I forgot to eat after the poison gas incident of 2021. The Thanksgiving Day poison gas attack. That always meant something different in my family, but here we are. All right, so let's eat some nuts. 
they nerfed nuts too. You used to be able to like just spam click and like eat like you could be full health from almost empty in like half a second. Now it actually takes time. So nuts aren't as good as they used to be because there's, there's different types of food. There's berries and mushrooms and there are some mushrooms around. Actually, there's, I would have walked right by a mushroom because I'm pretty sure there's a mushroom spawn over by the copper, isn't there? I want to say. Yeah, maybe not. But I don't think I got it if it is there. But it might not be there. All right, let's grab some nuts. There we go. Back to the factory. How much stuff do we have built up is the question. Enough to really start making stuff? We have splitters and stuff now, right? We can, we're probably going to ramp up production and stuff. And again, anything we make now is going to be, you know, temporary. Like this is not going to be our permanent factory for sure. Oh, sulfur. Do we have room? Yeah, let's grab some sulfur. Why not? We can use this to research stuff. It's like I grabbed a handful of quartz there earlier too. I guess I didn't really talk about it. I probably should have, but oh well. This quartz right there. All right, so let's go throw a bunch of this junk in storage. Um, then we'll top up all our power. Then we'll grab, uh, we'll finish this research. Actually, let's, uh, no, let's, let's put, Let's put stuff in storage first. Let's free up some inventory. Because we are relatively full right now. So we don't need these on us. We don't need these or those or those. We can't use the hard drives yet because we need to finish this research first. Don't need those or those. Actually, don't need to hold those or those really either. Or those. If we don't need computers in hand right now. Those can stay in storage. For sure. Alright, we got a bit of wood on us, right? Ooh, five wood, yay. <laughs> That's gonna go, <laughs> go far. But we should have a bunch of, yeah, biomass here. Okay, so let's uh, top up all our power generators. Yeah, I used quite a bit, actually. I mean, we were gone for a minute, right? That wasn't uh, That wasn't a quick trip. But like I said, the biofuel takes longer. It burns longer. Once you get that, like a full stack of 200 biofuel, it lasts quite some time. All right, so we need 100 plates. Got that easily. So let's just grab everything. You know what would be even easier? Hit the take all button, Looch. Probably be a good idea. Then let's go grab the cable, and then we will check on our concrete. We'll go from there. Pretty productive. Pretty productive first hour, though, I think. Relatively. I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure it's possible to be more productive. Yeah, there should be a mushroom right around here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, right here. It's stupid that I remember this, right? Well, it's technically called a bacon agaric. But I call it a mushroom. But it gives, like, two... Hearts. I know they're not hearts, but... Two slivers of your health from one mushroom so you can you can heal much faster off mushrooms if you're low but mushrooms are also much more rare much more rare so it's kind of a you know it's a give and take right all right there we go oh gotta hit the red button looch there we go Milestone. All right, so that's that milestone. So let's go check on our concrete here. Actually, let's build a BAM. Let's build the BAM here before we do anything. Uh, special? Yes, the BAM. We need... Oh, we need cable. We don't make cable right now, so let's make some cable by hand. We can make all kinds of it by hand. I will start making this uh, automatically soon. It's just not quite yet. So we'll we'll make we'll make a bunch of it by hand for now. Um so yeah, ma'am. So this is the ma'am. So this is where we unlock a whole bunch of things. So we can unlock a hard drive or we can uh, research hard drives to get alternate recipes. We can research stuff with alien organs that we do have. We can research stuff with this. 
So let's uh, let's do this one. I don't think it this itself doesn't unlock anything, but once I have all these, then I can do this, and then this, which gives us uh, I think it gives us an unlocks an inhaler that you make with the three different types of food, and it like heals you instantly no matter what health you were at. So inhalers are good. So power slugs. All right, so let's grab one of our power slugs here. Uh, I just want one. I forget how to take just one, so we'll take them all. <laughs> and let's throw you in there. Okay. So now we have power shards. Okay, so let's do overclocking. So now we can overclock. Well, in five minutes, we'll be able to overclock once this research is done. So yeah, there's slug scanning, like Ro talked about. It's a lot easier to find them once you can scan them. There's yellow power shards, and then this will be purple power shards, but we got to unlock yellow first. But I'm not worried about yellow uh, yellow slugs yet. That's that's a that's a future Luchara problem. All right, so we have 60 limestone on us. Let's turn that into concrete. I don't really see any reason to hold on to that at the moment. And we're going to start building some foundations with this concrete. And we're going to start building a, a real actual factory. Not whatever this mess is. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically a factory. Kind of. But not really. But in order to power this factory, we're going to need a bunch more power. Which is why I want to get the chainsaw and biofuel ASAP. Right? Kind of make it easy on, my, make it easy on me to get power. Alright, so we got all kinds of concrete now. So let's go see what we need to unlock the chainsaw and biofuel and everything else in that category. But that's what we're doing here for sure. But yeah, I think one of the options was the tier two belts already. So yeah, like you can have tier two belts pretty early. So they transport 120 resources per minute, which is twice, it's double what the other one is. So obstacle clearing, what's part of something? Oh, that's where we get rotors, which is what we need for the hard drive that's just over yonder. So we primarily need cables here. We have the screws, we have the concrete. So let's make a bunch of cables. We can make all kinds of cables, that's fine. All right, away we go. And I know handcrafting is not exciting to watch. It's not exciting to do either, but it's kind of a necessary evil at this point. Although. At some point, I would like to do a run where I don't allow myself to handcraft unless absolutely necessary. Like anybody who's played Factorio, there's an achievement for only handcrafting. It's like X number of times or less. Because there's like, in Factorio, you, you need to handcraft like 100 times. Mostly like in the really, really early game. I don't know how much you technically would need to handcraft in this game. All right, so we got that unlocked, but we need an equipment workshop for the chainsaw. And what do we need for it? We need 20 screws. I can do 20 screws. That's easy. Then we'll be able to have a chainsaw. But I think we need biofuel to fuel the chainsaw. Yeah, I'm glad I went and got those screws that I did because they're gone. <laughs> right? I went through them, which is kind of crazy. All right, chainsaw, baby. These trees are not going to know what hit them. But before that, okay, so how are we doing for power? Can we hook up one more thing? Yes. We want one more constructor. So we want it out here instead of this. We want a constructor here. Uh, right about there. That's close enough. Maybe. Is it close enough? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we want solid biofuel. Get some power out here. And we'll stick these in a container once they actually start coming in. So let's put you in there. Actually, let's 
put you in there too, I guess. <laughs> There's no point in ho holding back, right? All right, so that is making biofuel. So what we're slowly going to do is we're going to like start ripping the biomass out of everything and replace it with biofuel. We need to get this initial biofuel is going to be to fuel the chainsaw. All right, so we have two hand slots now. So generally speaking, we're going to run around with... Why won't it let me drag this? There we go. Oh, is my mouse being funny again? So hold up. I got to mute for a sec because I got to blow on my mouse. Basically, I get uh, dog hair stuck under my mouse button and I can't like click and drag. So yeah, so I can have... I can go from weapon to heal instantly, right? Which is nice. But right now, we're going to equip the chainsaw. And you, you do get even more uh, slots. So my MAM research is done. So I can overclock or underclock right now. So let's go Let's go show what underclocking is right now. Actually, let's, let's show what both of them are. Let's show what both of them are. So we're going to need to make some power shards here. You know what? No. I'm doing chainsaw stuff first. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show power shards off in a sec. So this will cut down everything in the area. So we got leaves, we got wood, we got limestone, mycelia, silica. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So we go over here. So these big trees, obviously, like the little stuff we could get by hand. But these big trees, we couldn't. Now we can't because we have the chainsaw. We just go boop and it just takes everything in the area, right? When you go boop, it takes everything in the area. So you can get a lot of leaves and wood really quickly, especially because these big trees generally give quite a bit of wood, right? And wood wood gives a lot of biofuel, right? So we'll just cut down a couple more trees here and then we will head back and throw all the wood and leaves into the uh, storage containers to be turned into bio mass, which will then be turned into biofuel automatically, right? And that's the key with this game. The more things you can automate for yourself, the better you're gonna be, because having to do stuff by hand sucks. But again, once you get to the coal power part of the game, you don't even have to worry about it. It, it the, well, if you set it up, you can feed them automatically. You don't have to hand feed them, right? I mean, you could hand feed them, but <laughs> I don't know why you would. Whereas these things, you can't ha you can't hand feed these things. There's no way. There is a, a thing, a building you get later on that generates power from biofuel that you can automate, but that is that is way later. We are not at that point. We are nowhere near that point. Let's just cut down some trees here a little bit by a little bit. And then we'll go uh, turn it into uh, biomass and biofuel. And we'll switch all our power plants over. And then we're going to go overclock some stuff. We're going to increase our concrete production, I think, is first on my list. And then we're going to rejigger our iron production then we're going to redo our copper production and not for the last time it'll be just one of many times that we re, re, re refactor everything as we grow right we need to readjust everything but we'll probably make it so that uh we'll make it fairly like expandable right will be the plan all right so i don't like walking around with the chainsaw out if i can help it there's probably a way to make this much more compact, too. <laughs> so let's throw some wood in here. Throw the rest of the wood in here. Sort this. Do I have any more wood? No. And then we'll throw some leaves in here. And throw the rest of the leaves in there. All right, so we got some biomass on us. Let's throw that in there. And let's see how much biofuel we have here. 85, not much, but that's fine. By the time all this stuff gets made into biofuel, there will be quite a bit in there. Which is good. 
<laughs> so let's uh, switch you out for that. So there, we're starting. We're burning biofuel now. All right, so we got a bunch of junk on us. Well, it's not junk, but stuff that we don't currently need in our inventory. So let's put that in storage. We got some limestone on us again, so let's just manually turn that into concrete. And then let's grab our power slugs out of storage and turn them into power shards. And then we'll go show off the process of over and underclocking with the concrete. Because as I said earlier, the ratio doesn't work as it currently is. I mean, it works, but it's not efficient. So there's our power slugs. Let's turn those into power shards. Beautiful. So that'll give us five power shards. So let's go take a look at the concrete here. Do I have rods and plates and yeah, okay. I got a little bit of everything that I could need that I would need at this point. Let's go take a peek down here. I wonder how much I have built up. Probably a couple hundred. I guess I yeah, yeah 140. It wasn't I was here not that long ago. So yeah, so like I said earlier. Excuse me. Uh, 45 per minute, right? This makes 60 per minute. So, wait. Can I not overclock yet? I thought I unlocked overclocking. Hold up. Hold the phone. I thought I unlocked overclocking. Didn't I? I could have swore I unlocked it. Am I crazy? Or is something wrong? Oh, do I, I had to hit, I had to hit okay. <laughs> All right, so let's fire a hard drive in here. So those take 10 minutes, so let's get that started. Okay, perfect. All right, so now, <laughs> Let's go show off over and underclocking. So first I'll just show what underclocking does. Because you might be like, why would you possibly underclock? It's a very good reason. So this, realistically, we only want this to make 45 per minute, right? So it's using 5 megawatts of power right now. We put this down, and we can type this in exactly, to do 45 per minute. All of a sudden, we're only using 3.2 megawatts. So we save 1.8 megawatts of power, which, I mean, look, it's not a lot. But you can do this for multiple pieces of equipment. Why wouldn't you, right? Because it was, it was just a waste before. Now, alternatively, what you could do is, which is what I'm going to do here. Let's put two constructors. But before constructors, let's put a splitter right about here. And then we'll make two constructors. One here. One here. That is not where I want. <laughs> I want to come out of this side over here. There we go. And this side over here. So we want concrete. And concrete. But now we need 90 per minute. Right? So let's put it to... Come on. There we go. So now we can overclock it. We can well we can overclock it all the way to uh to whatchamacallit. 120. No, 90. So if I put another one in, I could go to 120. A third one I could go to 150 per minute. 150, 200, 250 percent. Now it does use more power. Um, it's not showing the power yet though, because it's backed up, it's not actually making any. Because my constructors don't have power yet. Now you may be sitting at home and thinking, Loot, I see a problem with what you're doing. And I do realize the problem, but I'm just kind of getting ready for the future. Um, so let's see the power now. So yeah, 9.6. So that's, that is a lot more. 
So we're actually going to not do that right now. We're going to go down to 100. I just want to show it because now experienced players probably see the problem. This belt only carries 60 per minute. So overclocking this to 90 does absolutely nothing. But eventually, soon actually, we will get um, better belts, right? And then we can do more. So let's. Uh, in the meantime, though, it's just kind of here. It's it's set up. It's ready to go, right? So as soon as we get tier two belts, we can come down here, upgrade. Basically, we only need to upgrade this one belt to tier two, and then we'll be able to make a lot more concrete a lot faster. Because you do need a lot of concrete, or the way I play. <laughs> anyway, I need a lot of concrete. So right now it's it's going to do so before we had one right one so now we have two machines but they're not going to get limestone all the time so they're not going to run 100% of the time so I didn't actually double what I was doing right but now I get, I get a little bit more concrete than what I had but once I get the better belts then I'll get a lot more concrete right so is what it is. I just want to show off underclocking and overclocking, basically. So how are we doing here? How much biofuel we got built up here? How's this doing? So let's put that in, speed that up. See, these belts here need to be faster as well. Because this uses 120 biomass per minute. And we can only feed 60 per minute, right? So this is another thing that needs better belts. So we got, yeah, we got quite a bit of biomass built up. So we can go over to these two and pull the biomass out and put biofuel in. Like I said, it burns quite a bit longer. And now we have a bunch of biofuel on us too. So we can throw this in here, right? Which will let this belt build up a bit. Make sure this thing runs 100% of the time for a bit. Which is good, all right. So now we need to look at refactoring all of our iron. But for that, we're going to need more power because we're going to be adding a bunch of stuff, right? So let's put in two more biomass burners. I can't wait to get foundations everywhere. So stuff just snaps to foundations. All right, so... Wait, why do you have four? Oh, because you went over there. Um, let's pull that one out and let's go like that instead. There we go. There we go. I like that better. All right. So I don't really have the biofuel for these ones yet. But I will soon. So until then, let's just start... Let's start refactoring the iron. So what I'm going to do... Alright, so this has 100 iron ore in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off... I'm going to shut this machine off. I'm going to let it clear out. Because I don't want to walk around with a bunch of iron ore in my pocket. <laughs> we'll shut this machine off. We'll let it clear out. And then we will come back for this. All right, so let's take a look at what milestones we can do now. Art assembly, probably be good. That is a lot of cables, though. Jump pads or eh. Resource sink. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's more of a long-term thing. It's not something we're going to use a whole lot tonight. Logistics Mark two. I'm just going to hold off on all those right now. None of those are terribly important at the moment, in my opinion. I'm trying to think. No. So let's go. Oh, we cannot use the chainsaw because we are out of fuel. So let's grab some fuel. And let's go. Uh, let's go cut some more things down here while we wait for this stuff to clear out over there. So it's all about hurry up and wait, right? <laughs> so let's grab all this wood, because wood is great. Wood is so much better than leaves. Even though we're not getting... Like, this doesn't give a lot of wood, but... 
Hey, wood's wood, right? Basically, in this game. Uh, we we'll probably should go in a direction where there's actually trees. Like, don't go out there, loose. There's nothing to cut with your chainsaw. That would be a completely pointless trip. There is another power slug that's relatively easy to get over this way. Well, there's a few, but there's one really easy. Actually, we should have got it when we were over here last time, but I didn't. It's it's fine, though. Not a big deal. NBD. But yeah, I'd like to I'd like to get the coal power tonight if I could, but if I if I stream for my planned three hours, I feel like getting the coal power might be a little too ambitious. I don't know. How you I mean you could probably get the coal in three hours. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> I mean I'll I'm gonna try, but it's not like it's not the goal. It's not, <laughs> you know, I didn't set out and say, all right, coal in three hours. Well, that'd be an interesting challenge to try to get coal power set up within three hours. You could probably unlock it in three hours, but having an actual coal, like a functioning coal power setup in three hours by yourself, that'd be tough. Now, I'm sure there's speed runners that could do it, but I am not a speed runner. I am nowhere near a speed runner. <laughs> I'm whatever the opposite of a speedrunner is. I'm a speed walker. Like, I'm one of those guys in the Olympics that speed walks, you know? Which is, like, the dumbest event ever. Like, I don't know. Like, could you imagine, like, there was, like, a Olympic basketball, except you couldn't run? I, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no shade to anybody who's, like, a competitive speed walker, but that's the dumbest sport, I think, ever. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's it would, it would be like... Like, if walking on your hands and knees, or hands, like, on your hands and feet, like, on all fours, like, why isn't that an Olympic event? If speed walking is, I mean, to me, they're... I mean, walking all, on all fours probably takes more skill, right? And maybe I'm just saying that because, like, back in high school, I could run on all fours faster than everybody else in my grade. <laughs> maybe that's why I want that to be an Olympic event, so I could finally get into the Olympics at the age of 44. Probably not. I'm a little past my prime now. Just just a little past my prime. Man, like, like football practice, rugby practice in high school, if we ever did that drill where you ran on all fours, I smoked everybody. People were like, how do you do that so fast? And I was like, I don't know. Let's just do it. How are we doing for space? Yeah, we're getting pretty full, actually. See so yeah, how there's a slug. You can see it. See the little uh, particle effects out in the water there? That's because there's a slug in the water. So, yeah. So, that was basically my high school years. I was just practicing running on all fours all the time. Actually, that's not true. I didn't practice. I was just good at it. You know what I did practice, though? In high school, actually, I guess it would have been middle school, is uh, saying the alphabet backwards quickly. Like, I used to practice that. I can still do it pretty good, too. Uh, Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Like, I, I could say it, I could, I could say it faster if I really want to, but it starts getting all garbled together, right? Yeah, I used to practice that. <laughs> Cuz, you know, that's that's how cool I was in middle school. <laughs> I used to <laughs> practice saying the alphabet backwards quickly. But hey, it's a fun party trick, right? And a, I I wish how great would it be to get like pulled over by the cops and they want to do like sobriety tests and they ask me to recite the alphabet backwards. I'd just be like Brr. And, like, they'd be like, oh, okay, I think you're good. They wouldn't even know what to do. Can you sprint in the water? Not really, huh? Oh, but if you jump, when you land, you get that speed boost. That's, cause this totally makes sense, right? All right, back to base we go. And we will turn all this, all these leaves and wood into biofuel to power our expansion. We are going to start making 
uh, plates and screws and rods and all those at a much higher rate is the plan. We'll see. <laughs> and maybe, maybe automate reinforced iron plates and rotors, but we got to get, we got to get the tier two belts unlocked first, right? That's when you can really start making factories because essentially you can, you can double your throughput, right? Especially if you combine it with, with overclocking. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plan. We're going to overclock all these miners eventually, but there's no point doing it until we get the belts. Although I will probably need to go on another slug run. Don't know if I really have enough slugs to do them all. Right? We'll see. All right. So store our leaves in here. Let's sort this. Leaves, 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 leaves. And throw all our wood in here. Boom, boom. Okay. Then we'll come over here. Let's store. What do we not need? Uh, I don't need those flower petals. I don't need the mushrooms. Don't need those. Don't need those. Let's turn this into a power shared. Let's turn this into concrete. Is our hard drive done? It is. So this is what alternate recipes do. So for example, right now we can turn one iron ore into one iron ingot, right? That's the recipe. So with this one, we can turn two iron ore and two copper ore into five, right? And if you look at production rate, it says 50 per minute. And if you mouse over this, it shows us our standard recipe there, 30 per minute. So we get more per minute right but we have to put copper in but you know if you're if you have copper you're not using you can use this it's a it's a better way to get ironing it's more efficient but one problem with it is you need the foundry building we don't have the foundry it's similar to this this is copper and iron into copper ingots right so we're gonna uh we're gonna pick that one and then we'll do another hair drive I won't be able to use that until I get the foundry, but it's a good recipe to have. I've used that one before in pla in past playthroughs, so that's a good one to have. So I wanted to make another power shard, right? Yeah. And then let's go check. See how much uh, bio biofuel we have over here. Top up everything. Let's put you in there. Should have a bit here. Oh yeah, over over 200 we have over 400 on us so we'll top everything up and then we'll get ready to put those in because we got hundreds more biofuel coming our way from that chainsaw trip right but this biofuel we have is mostly going to go to stocking these up right yeah we don't have much left yeah that one that we only burned 16 there right that is that is not a lot Wait, I thought I had five of these. Didn't I just make an extra one? Okay. That's weird. I could have swore I had four before I made that last one. Didn't I? Am I going crazy? Is there anybody watching? That's actually paying attention to the minutia? Probably not. Probably not. We've got four people watching right now. I doubt anybody. I doubt any is we're paying attention that closely. But I could have swore I had four before. But I mean, the blue slug is gone. <laughs> Did I accidentally put it in a machine? I might have. Let's go check my biofuel machines. I may have accidentally put one in. It is possible. I misclicked because the blue the blue slug is gone can you overclock these you can I may I don't think you can overclock this though oh you can and that's exactly what I did I'm not going crazy I knew I had four of them 
All right, so. Are these cleaned out? Yes, they are. These are all cleaned out. So. Oh my god, this one's still not cleaned out. Why are you so slow? Oh my god, there's still a ton of mill iron ingots here. All right, so let's go make these into something. I don't know what. Put them in here. There we go. Turn you into something. That's crazy. I mean, I... I turned this off a long time ago, right? Okay, did you hear that voice? It wants me to harvest that, but it's way up there, and I don't, I don't feel like building up to there right now. And I'm also going to turn off this miner for the same reason. Because we're going to rejigger this whole thing in the near future. Alright, beautiful. Another mushroom. See, I knew there was mushrooms over here. I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I mean, I might still be crazy, but... For unrelated reasons. Alright, so that's on standby. Let's go see how much concrete we got built up here. And if anybody new watching wants to join me i am playing on a dedicated server right now um the information to join is on my discord if you're not already on my discord the link should be in the description down below let me know if it's not but i i think i put the information you need to join in my discord i'm not positive because this is my first time using a dedicated server but i think i think you should be able to join if you were interested yes yeah, concrete's still coming in pretty slow we, we need the tier two belts so that we can really make the concrete come in a lot faster or i mean we could always set up a whole other setup right we could do another miner and another constructor off this one right if we if we felt like we really needed concrete but i mean we have almost a thousand on us i think that's enough for now like because we're gonna be we're gonna start building a ton of foundations soon, right? Which actually, let's put them on the hot bar. So each one uses. Oh wait, oh no, oh wow! They changed this recipe. They changed this recipe. This used to just be six concrete for one foundation. Now it's five concrete and two metal plates, iron plates. That changes everything the fact that you need iron plates for that oh wow that means yeah you're gonna need a lot more iron plates now okay but i mean well luckily i have a couple hundred on me <laughs> and oh there's lots here yeah probably didn't need to pick up all of those loot <laughs> some of them probably would have sufficed oh hey look this is finally done you're finally cleared out are you a little smelter of course this one's not that one's almost cleared out, but yeah, let's pull you out of there. Because I'm going to need more plates than I am rods. Now that I know I need plates to make foundations, right? That means I'm going to need a lot of plates. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll, I'll make a lot of plates. It's, <laughs> it's all good. So, yeah, we're not... Uh, I was going to say, I was going to pull down this power pole, but that will turn all that power off. And I don't want to turn that power off. But I will probably have to replace these power poles once I get into the next stage of building. All right, so you can come up. You can come up. And let's actually pull you up. Yeah, there's a few rods in there, but not, not as many as I was expecting, honestly. I was expecting more. But that's fine. All right, so this is still working. It's gonna be working for another couple minutes. That's fine. We'll let it work. So let's you are so lucky that you found let's redo some power back. poles here. So we'll go here, which will connect to there, which will connect to here there there now we can get rid of all these middleman power poles not this one this one needs to stay 
Watch, all these other ones can go. This one can go. Then this one can go, but I'm going to wait until this is done doing its thing. All right, so let's go grab. Let's go check on our biofuel. Top everything up, and we'll... Uh, Nah, no, I'm not gonna get. I'm not. I'm not gonna fuel up the extra two yet. Not yet. No. Oh, okay. So we got lots of biofuel now. That's good. Very good. You need. You need lots of biofuel in this game. At this point, eventually you don't need any. <laughs> Once you get coal power, and then later you get oil power, and then after that you get nuclear power. At that point, you don't need any. Of the other stuff. All right, you know what? You're done. I'm cutting you off. There. So. You're done. All right, so this is the highest little hill around here, right? Yes. So let's make some foundations here. All right, so this is west, so... I like orienting them on like the cardinal directions, right? So west, north, east, right, south. You know what I mean? So let's go here, here. How wide do I need to go? Six wide, I think, for now. And then we'll expand as we need to later. Oh, and there's a new mode that lets me build these faster, too. How do we do that? Arr, uh, zoop. zoop a -oop. So we go, whoop. Look at that. Zoop. Oh, I like that. That makes everything so much easier. And zoop. <laughs> and zoop is a fun word to say. And one more zoop. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm losing viewers. I got to stop saying zoop. All right, so smelters. Let's go. Go one there. We're going to do four. We can't feed four from one miner yet. We need tier two belts for that. Tier two belts are coming. So let's put some splitters in. Like so. Right by the second one. And I'm not going to hook up three and four again until I get the other belts. There's no point. Because these take 30 and make 30. They turn 30 into 30, right? 30 ore into 30 ingots. Piece of cake. And then we will merge. And since you can hold 60 on a belt, that means you can do two, right? And once we get the 120 belt, we can do four. Okay, right there. Right there and right there. So let's belt all these up. So we're gonna, whoops. We're gonna need more foundations here, obviously. Because our smelters are taking up most of the space. That's fine. We, hey, we can zoop out, zoop out some foundations really quick. Uh, seven is it still in zoop mode? It is still in zoop mode. So how many can we go out here? I think ten is the limit. Yeah. And then we'll zoop across. How wide is it? Six across. Then actually, let's take it off. Oh wait. Uh, right. We don't need that one. Then let's take it off suit mode. Because you can build them quickly like this as well, if you're careful. If you aim at the like if you aim right there, you gotta adjust your aim as you go. Otherwise you do that. <laughs> not yet not that that's the end of the world, right? I can go back and I can fix that. That's not a problem. Oh, those ones are a little harder to fix though. But they're fixable. All right, let's get some more here. All right, so we still have a fair amount of concrete. We still have all kinds of iron plates. Uh, let's get rid of you right now. 
So I wonder, is it easier with the zoop than I wonder? Yep. <laughs> Way easier to zoop them. Wow. Oh my god, that's uh best update ever. Alright, so we got one line coming in here. Still gotta power them up and stuff and still gotta I guess we gotta turn this back on. We turn this off, right? Oop. And then uh, can I get up here? Nope. So let's uh let's put you on our hopper as well. And you can have more than one hopper too, which is nice. Let's throw a couple ramps in here. I guess we can just zoop some ramps. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Poop. Zoop a poop. Uh, I'm a child. That hurts. And let's see if we can line them up with the ones over in the other row. Right there. Beautiful. Could probably get another row going too, right? Because I have another iron deposit there. Should probably do that. And there, right there. Perfect. Uh, we only need two. Not going to put the other ones in just yet. Because we don't need them. Boom. Okay, we're going to turn you back on. Just like your other one. I guess I should probably hook these power up to these two. Otherwise, they're not going to do a whole lot for me, are they? Without power? Can't do much. We are not using much power right now. That is fine. That is as as designed. Oh, yeah. You can't. Later on, you can jump up on these from the ground. Can't yet. All right, so Boom. And boom. Okay. So we got some iron ingots coming in hot. We'll also have iron ingots coming in hot over here. Nope. Not copper ingots. Looch. <laughs> iron ingots. There we go. Oh my god. Twice in a row I did that. Apparently I can't, can't use a mouse anymore. And this, folks, is why I don't play first person shooters. <laughs> I can't even aim. Uh... <laughs> At a, at a button in Satisfactory correctly. So how am I supposed to shoot somebody in the head? <laughs> right? Just saying. Alright. So let's get some outputs going here. Beautiful. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's hook up this third one. We need a hand miner. Before we can hook up the third one. So let's make a hand miner. Or, sorry, portable miner. Whatever. Alright. Under we go. Under you we go. So we're going to have to make some more foundations, but that is fine. Oh. Uh, how many do we want here? We want three. Should be good, right? Let's zoop them in. And then we'll go out. And yeah, we'll go about halfway. Zoop. One, two, three. Then zoop. And zoop. <laughs> and zoop. Oh, that's great. That is so much better than it used to be. Then we'll go do this again. Now, I, this may actually be more than I need. I, this may be farther out than I need to go. But hey, better safe than sorry, right? Zoop. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help saying zoop every time. It's such a fun word to say. I don't know. Maybe it's because it rhymes with poop and I'm a child. Uh, it's I don't know. Anyway, let's get some more smelters down. One, two, three, four. So if you're wondering why I'm putting four down instead of two, since I'm only planning to use two, I'm planning to just go to four eventually. So putting the four in, now I know the spacing. So I can start my next stage. I can put my constructors out here. Because if I don't put the two extra in, I may accidentally <laughs> use the space for something because I'm terrible. 
right? Now I don't have to worry about it. I future-proofed it from myself. Essentially. I can't screw it up, even if I wanted to. Uh, iron ingots. Iron ingots. Anyway, I mean, I'm going to set them to iron ingots. I don't need to, really, but I'm going to. Just so in case I forget to do it later, right? It's done now. Again, just trying to future-proof it from myself. All right, we got the input. We do not have power. Well, this second row doesn't have power either, do they? Let's fix that. Right there. Boop and boop. Done. Easy peasy. And then put you there. Okay, I'm going to go harvest that summer sloop just to stop that sound from coming in. <laughs> Alright, so you might be thinking, Lutz, how the heck are you going to get up there? This is, in my opinion, the easiest way to climb at Satisfactory. Can I zoop these? No. There, just like that. And you climb up the side, right? So easy. I mean, I kind of feel bad because, like, you can tell sometimes, like, some designer, some level designer, some world designer creates all these jumping puzzles and stuff. Like, there's probably a big jumping puzzle to get all the way up here, and I'm just like, I just build six storage containers and bypass the, the jumping puzzle completely, right? And then you just disassemble the storage containers, and you don't even lose any materials, right? So I, I always feel kind of, not guilty would be the wrong word, but I don't feel great when I do that. <laughs> but I do it, so I guess I can't really say much. I feel a little dirty, a little greasy when I do it. But hey, I'm sure I'm far from the only one. Did the game not tell me that was lined up? Because that is not lined up. <laughs> there, that's better. And get this output flowing. That's is this one lined up right? Yeah, okay. Good, no, this is lined up again. What the hell is it lining up to? Okay, so put it in. Tells me it's lined up, right? That is not lined up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There. That's lined up. Alright, so. This is where I need more power. Right? I'm going to need more power. Yes, my max um my max consumption is higher than my capacity right now. So let's go get more capacity. Let's hook up. Well let's go grab some biofuel and hook up and fuel up these two new uh biomass burners I did. Oh all kinds of all kinds of biofuel now. Eight hundred and fifty. Now we will have to top up our additional our existing ones as well. And obviously two hundred has to go into each of these. But that's fine. And it's still making there's still over 200 wood in here, right? So it's still going to... It's going to keep making biofuel for quite some time. And again, biofuel burns way slower than biomass. So we do not have to babysit these too hard. So now our max is 130. Our consumption is 7. seven. So you know, I'm going to make one more. Make one more. And this will allow me to put a bunch of constructors down, right? In theory, at least. And boom. 
and boom, there we go. So now essentially we got our our max is double, or our capacity is double our max consumption, which is which is awesome. That's kind of where you want to be, right? So let's get some constructors going here, and I can't jump up there. Where are my ramps? <laughs> Need a ramp. All right. Constructors. So this is going to be iron plates. So right now we're making 60 per minute, right? So that means we can make, we can have two of these constructors, which will, which will give us 40 iron plates per minute, right? Which is fine. For what we for what our needs are right now oh we need more cables and we're actually we're probably going to need more no we got enough uh we got enough reinforced iron plates but we do need to make a bunch of cables and that's fine i mean we can make we can make cables i am running low on wire though i do have some over in storage but i did turn off that miner and that might have been a bad idea <laughs> in retrospect right we'll see we shall see all right that should be more than enough cables let's go see how much copper wire we have here i may turn this miner back on for a little bit as long as i have oh it's still making some <laughs> as long as there's at least a thousand copper wire if there's a thousand more i definitely won't turn it back on oh yeah there's 1600 we good. <laughs> we can leave that miner off. It is off, right? Yes. Okay. Because as soon as we're done here, we're going to come over here and make a, a similar expansion, right? There, there we go. Yeah, we got to jump. I'm so lazy. I don't even want to jump. <laughs> All right. Constructors. Back to the regularly scheduled programming here. So we only, there's only point, that. Ah, there's no point in putting down any more than two right now. That's a merger. We want to, we want a splitter. We want it to come up from there like that. Can we get a belt in here? Yes. Okay. And then another one. Beautiful. All right, so iron plates and iron plates. All right, so power. Well, we're gonna need. We're gonna want a power pole right here for those for them eventually. And then boom and boom. All right. So then we'll merge them. Like so. Perfect. All right, now the real question is, what do we want to do with them? So I could put storage right here, temporarily. So let's actually, let's just put, uh, so let's take it off Zoop for a minute. Let's put it on default, because I just want a couple out here. So I'm just going to put a little storage bin here. Now, again, this is going to be all redone, so I don't want anything permanent. There. So, so that's twice as many plates as we were making earlier. And you're probably thinking, that's a lot of work just to double it. But we're doubling everything, right? Not just the plates. All right, we're still not using very much power, so we're good there. All right, so we're gonna do a similar thing here with rods. And then, I'm not sure what to do with that third row. I could do rods again, and then turn one of the two rows of rods into screws, potentially. That might be what I end up doing, we'll see. We'll see. For now, I just wanna get this row done. Uh, how many of these am I gonna need? rods 15 into 15 so i'm gonna need four constructors here 
if I wanted to use the whole what we're what we're bringing in, right? Which I do, so I do want to use it all. But that's a uh, that's a lot of power too, right? Because each of these is oh, wait, it's only four. Never mind. Constructors are only four. Why do they think constructors were a lot of power? That's not a lot of power at all. Never mind. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so splitter, like that. Perfect, and one more. All right. Of course, we're gonna have to bring power up here, but that is not a big deal. Shouldn't be a big deal at any rate. Okay, yeah. Ingots coming in. That's exactly what we want. All right, so let's take power. Let's drop power there and then bring it up here. We did it the other side over there and I want to do it here because it looks better. Because, like, if you look, the power inputs on this side. So I put the pole over there. It's so like that bothers me, but it, it's temporary. Like this whole setup's temporary, so I'm not. It it bugs me, but I'm probably not going to fix it because. Well, although temporary solutions do have a tendency to sometimes become permanent solutions in this game. We will see if that's the case here. So yeah, so here we go. So the ingots are coming in. They're going in. So the way I'm doing this manifold, instead of just doing like a like a splitter, like, you know, a lot of people that are new are going to do splitters like this, right? Like say my iron's coming in and you do a split. Like if you want to split it four ways, that would split it into two. So then you would have to do, you know, a second splitter and another splitter. Like it's a whole thing. It's easier to just do, the, I find, to just do a manifold which is what this is. So, but what's going to happen though is this first one's going to absorb a bunch more than it needs, right? And eventually though, eventually this will get full, right? And then it'll stop stop taking less and they'll go down the line. Cuz if you look now, this last one's not getting as much as it should. Right? It's it's probably going to wait. Yeah, it's waiting for an ingot, right? But as the, once the first one fills up, then the second one gets more until it fills up, etc. So it, when you when you first activate a system like this, unless you like prime it, um, it's not going to work 100% efficiently, but it will eventually. So anyway, this is my preferred system rather than try to make weird splitters. But your mileage may vary. I'm not saying it's it's the right way. I'm just saying it's the way I like. And everybody's different. And that's fine. Variety is the spice of life, right? So these we're going to send over there to get stored next to the other things. Again, this is this part of this setup. The storage assist part of it is relatively temporary. Okay, just, just throwing that out there. Excuse me, right now. So let's put another foundation or two here. Or four. Ooh, can we get rid of this rock? If we chainsaw these plants, will they take the rock with them? Yes. Okay, good. Now the rock isn't sticking up out of my foundation. All right, so let's put a ramp. Let's put some ramps here. Right? Right here. Because we're gonna become we're gonna be coming up to these boxes. Probably quite a bit. Well, depending on how... Depends how permanent this ends up becoming. Because, again, sometimes temporary solutions become permanent in this game. It happens. So, we've doubled our plates. We've doubled our rods. Now the question is... Well, actually, we can't do... We could do screws. I could automate screws if I want it. But I don't think I'm going to just yet. I'm going to leave this third row blank for now. 
and I'm going to take a peek at our, uh, at our unlocks, at our research here. Because this one, Art Assembly, this will allow us, we can automate uh, reinforced plates. But we're going to need oh, a bunch of cables, a bunch of screws. That's fine. All right, so let's go, let's make 500 screws. All right, so while I'm making these 500 screws, I need to go get some water because I am parsed. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. And do we have enough? We made enough screws? Yes, we made enough screws. Perfect. So boom, boom. So we just need just need cable. So I, I might have to hook the copper wire back up, potentially, right? I may have just cut it off too early. Well, well eh, is it still working? How much is in here? There should be like 2,000 in here, right? Just trying to remember how much wire does it take to make 200 cable. So I'm going to turn this, I'm going to turn this miner back on for a little bit. Just for a bit. I don't know why it took me like, <laughs> took me like five seconds to find the on off switch there. Despite the fact that I've, I've already used the on off switch on miners. Well, that'd be the sixth time <laughs> tonight. Sometimes I worry about myself. Like seriously. So what are we doing here? Ah, yes, we're making some cables by hand. And unlocking part assembly. Oh yeah, we can easily make 200 cables. That's, that's, that's easy peasy. I'm actually gonna, gonna tab out while I check that. <laughs> All right. Good enough. Oh wait, you don't even have to hold the space bar anymore. I just hit it. Or is that because I was tabbed out? No. Wait, I can't. <laughs> it wouldn't stop. No, you just need to hit space bar once. You don't even need to hold it. Cheers to that. Alright. Oh, that's good water. Alright, so there's our 200 cable. I'm just going to make a little more so I have some cables on hand. Because... You do need cables to do a lot of things, right? I mean, primarily run power, but some buildings also use cables. Uh, we don't need you. We don't need you. Guess we can make concrete out of that limestone. Two whole concrete. That's a game changer right there. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? We were doing this. Art assembly. So, these assembler machines, these are the ones that use a lot of power, 15 megawatts. That's what I was thinking of earlier when I was like, when I was putting those four constructors in, I was thinking, oh, that's a lot of power. It's really not, but. So what I'm going to do, I think, 
I'm gonna gonna make this row make plates and then I'm gonna split off these rods make them into screws and then we'll take the plates from here and the screws from here and we'll make reinforced iron plates that is the plan as they say who says that you may ask I don't know somebody does I'm sure <laughs> uh, do I want to line it up with the other row sure for the sake of being orderly, let's line everything up. Splitter here. Is that in the right? Yeah, that's right. Duh. Easy peasy. So yeah, two two is right, right? I'm doing plates, yeah. This 60 makes 40 plates. Okay, perfect. Boom, and I need power. Let's put pull here. Pull here. <laughs> I know that's a lot of excess pulls I don't need. Oh, hey, look. I'm missing a belt right here. See, that worked out. My, my pull paranoia worked out there. All right, so we're getting, we're getting ingots there. So we'll merge these up. Like so. Let's belt everything together. And then we'll send these. These going these are gonna have to go on a bit of a trip. That's fine. And again, this is all probably extremely temporary, but that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna need a splitter here. Will this work if I just put a splitter like that? Nope, that is not working. I mean, it's still going through, but it's not splitting. Huh. I would have thought that worked. Would have worked. Oh, well. I can make a splitter. That's easy. Oh, I put in a merger by mistake. <laughs> if I did, that would explain it. I probably did. All right, so I probably didn't need springs quite as far. So we're making what? 60? 60? Yeah, because we got four of them, four times 15 is 60 rods per minute. So what is the rod to screw ratio? 10 rods become 40 screws. Okay. And then, oh, we need rotors and, uh, I need to make a bunch of crap by hand. Because I'm going to need. At least one of these assemblers, if not two. Right? We'll just make one for now. And we'll see what the ratios are. Which was eight of those plates, I think. And I need rotors, so I need a bunch of screws. Okay, that's fine. I can make screws. I can make screws, game. I should have just automated screws. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. So how many screws am I going to need? Excuse me. How many rows do I need? Five? I think. I think I need five rotors. Let's find it. Yeah, we'll automate. We're going to automate these rotors soon too, but we're going to automate uh, reinforced iron plates first. But I'm not going to put screws in a chest, I don't think. All right, so we're just putting this down temporarily because I want to look at the recipe. So it needs 30 iron plates. We're making 40. 60 screws. So we're going to need... I'm just going to do one of these machines for now. So we're just going to do one. No, sorry, we're going to do two. Two screw machines. Right, so we're going to split. Like that. Constructor. Spin it around. You got your backwards. Oh, that, that was weird. 
What is happening? Spin you around. There we go. Now we make a second. And then we go like that. And like this. It's like this. It's like that, y'all. Alright, so screws. Screws. There is an alternate recipe for screws that you don't need rods for. It's just... Actually, I, I probably should probably go check that hard drive because I may be able to take that alternate recipe. Although I kind of, I got this all set up now. I'll probably just go with what I have, but let's take a look. And it's not here anyway. No, here it is, right here. So we can make, we can make screws directly from, uh, from iron ingots. But I feel like it's a little late to incorporate that into our build. Um, when we inevitably rebuild, because this is most of this, everything except the smelting, basically, <laughs> is going to be, is temporary, right? Basically. So, yeah, screws and screws. So that, that's only taken up 20 of our 60 rods, so we still got all kinds of rods going in there, so that's fine. So now let's merge these screws together. Now here's the other part of the problem. Is we can only fit 60 screws on a belt. Right? And we're trying to make 80. But we will have the better belts. Relatively soon. So that's not the end of the world. Right? And we need power up here, don't we? Problem solved. We have power. We're making screws. So we have screws here. We got iron plates there. Oh, we need, okay, so we need 10 cables and one reinforced iron plate to make this assembler. Bah. Life is hard. Oh my God, I was so dry. I should have had water in here the whole time. I had, uh, I had bacon and eggs for supper, and that is a relatively salty meal. <laughs> well, bacon alone is salty, right? So, so I'm dry, is what I'm trying to say. So that's why I need the water. And I hope this is the last time I have to make stuff by hand for a while. It probably won't be, <laughs> but a man can dream, right? I will have to check on power again here soon probably using both are we using how much are we using so i'm just gonna go down okay until i only have one stack of that and we need is it rotors no it was one of these we need one of these all right so let's check power how close to capacity are we is is problem a and the answer is we're good yeah our max consumption is only 117 our capacity is 160 and do these need to be topped up? Not really, but I'm here, so I might as well top them up while I'm here. Right? Sure. And apparently I put this one facing the opposite way as the other ones. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. There we go. That's fine though, I guess. Throw that wood in there. Throw the leaves in there, even though that's not enough to actually, you know, make anything. All right. So now we can get our assembler going and we can have reinforced auto plates. Reinforced iron plates. Words are hard, apparently. We can have them automated, which will be important. So how do I want this assembler oriented? Probably like this. And I've said this a lot, that stuff is temporary. This is the most temporary <laughs> Oh, I'm out of plates. I'm out of iron plates. It's a good thing we got a whole storage container full of them here, right? Not full, but, you know, we had, there was over 800 in there. We're good. It's not like we're out of plates. All right, and uh, power. We got power. We got reinforced iron plates. There we go. So yeah, this uses 60 crews per minute, which we're, we're going to be sending. Technically, we're sending 80 per minute. 
but the belt can only hold 60, but 60 is all we need. So this will run 100% of the time, but this only makes five reinforced iron plates per minute. It's not like we're going to be swimming in reinforced iron plates, right? But we have them automated, and that's the important thing. So let's, uh, let's belt them over here. Let's make another storage container. Line it up with the other ones. And... Alright. Good enough. So these will slowly come in, but it's an important... You do, this is a very important step, automating these. This is the first, like, quote-unquote complex thing you make in the game. So now that that's done, I'm going to go see how much biofuel I have in storage. I may have to go on another chainsaw run here. Possibly. We'll see. Nope. No, I think I'm good. <laughs> I don't think I need another chainsaw run. But I didn't check these two when I was... Uh, I don't think when I was redoing biofuel, right? No. But these two don't. These two go through it slower than the other ones anyway. All right, perfect. So, the plan now, I guess, will be to make, to redo the whole copper setup I have. That means I gotta, <laughs> I gotta turn this miner back off and let it clear out, but that's fine. I can, there's some things I can do to stay busy. Now let's turn my flashlight on to help you folks see. Does that help? Anybody in the chat? Let me know. Does that help you see a little better? Because I realize it is nighttime in the game there now. All right, so turn you off. Let this clear out, and then we'll redo our whole copper setup. We will likely start automating cables now as well. But right now, I'm going to go on a little trip, I think. A little field trip. Uh, do I have any biofuel on me? Yes. There is a... There's a power slug, or not the power slug, sorry. There's a hard drive. It's up right there, I think. There's a hard drive up there, and there's a couple power slugs on the way. You need you need biofuel to unlock it. So we're gonna go we're gonna go up there, and hey, let's muzzle grab this power slug while we're here too, right? Might as well. Oh my god, seriously, I can't believe how dry it was. Bacon, man. I love bacon, but that stuff dries you out. It's, well, I mean, it's it's basically salt. <laughs> it's it's pig fat and salt, right? It's, those are the ingredients in bacon, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I had, like, tater tots, you know what I mean? The little potato nuggets. Those are also salted as well. And I did not quite do enough. Could I stand here? I probably could have if I didn't move. Oh, grab the ladder. Nice. Okay. Because <laughs> you can fall to your death in this game. So I've been playing Eco lately, and Eco does not have fall damage. This game does. <laughs> so i got to be careful. Or I'm going to die from falling. And nobody wants that. There. Now we got the blue power slug. Perfect. And so this next one I'm going for, the the, the hard drive, the, the crash drop pod, whatever you want to call it. It uh, I could just make storage containers, like to get up. Well, where is it? It's over here. It's like up. It's right right there. Something's shooting me. Yep, something's definitely shooting me. And it's definitely you. Ah. Good thing I have my flashlight out. I would never see him. All right, and let's put our food in our hand slot here. We can switch. Oh, is there another thing shooting me? So anyway, as I was going to say, I could technically just use storage containers to get all the way up there, but I'm going to do the jumping puzzle just because. Well, it's not that hard either. It's not really a puzzle. Plus, there's a couple power slugs over there. And I like power slugs because I'm going to need them. 
because my plan is, of course, to overclock all my miners, right? And overclock them to 200%, which means I need two power shards for each one, which is two power slugs each, right? And we might as well grab this mushroom on our way. Or sorry, bacon agaric. I, I just call them mushrooms. I don't... Whatever, whatever bacon agaric is. <laughs> Not interested. Not terribly interested in whatever bacon agaric is. So this spot over here, so here's some limestone. If you go down in the corner, there's three pure iron nodes and a pure copper node. I have started there before. It's a pretty good spot to start, too. And... and Arguably, it's probably a bit, probably better than the one I did start in because having pure iron nodes, um, basically they output twice as much, so that's 120 per minute. Now, obviously, right now, that does nothing for me because the belts, I have still only do 60. But once you unlock tier two belts, it's way better to be on pure nodes, because then you don't have to overclock your miners. And overclocking the miners isn't a big deal, except it uses way more power, right? Which, at this point in the game, when you don't have coal, is a concern. I think this is where I need to go to get up there. Well, actually, you know, there, there's two ways up. So let's actually do the back way. You can go up this ledge to get where I'm going, but there's another way. Although it might be too dark in here for you folks to see. But that's fine. Is it too dark? Probably would be if I turn my flashlight off, but I'm going to leave my flashlight on, obviously. Those things kind of glow. Those make light. Yeah, because there's a YouTuber I used to watch. A Satisfactory YouTuber. and he used He used one mod. And the one mod made it daytime all the time. That way he could record whatever he wanted and didn't have to worry about how dark it was. Alright, so we got some jerks. We're going to have to kill some jerks. And that's fine. I don't mind killing jerks. Did I get them both there? I think I did. Alright, so you can, as you can see, there's a yellow power slug over there, which is worth three power shards, except... Oh, no, I didn't get them all. <laughs> One jerk left. Get over here. Where are you going? You want to be a jerk or not? Fine. Go over there and be a jerk. But I don't have it researched yet, so I have to give up my first one to research it. But that's not a big deal. Oh, now you want to come and fight me. You run, you run, and run. When I finally give up on chasing you, you're like, ha-ha. And you come and bite me. And this is why they're jerks. Right? Right? Um, I don't remember this being hard to get in the past. Apparently, I'm just terrible right now. Speaking of jerks and being terrible. Are you coming or not? Oh, you faked me out there. You juked me. All right, so I got the power slug, though. But if you go back here... And there's a, there's a cave back here. And this leads up to where we want to go. So let's uh let's take it. It's way easier than jumping puzzle, arguably. There is spiders though, so if you if you don't like combat, the other way is better. But there's also a green power slug. Sorry, blue power slug. I knew I was gonna do that. Ooh, this is a lot of spiders actually. This could be bad. <laughs> but luckily, spiders are pretty easy to kill, and they don't hit all that hard. Now there's like a like a big giant spider that you have to fight, it hits hard. It's no joke. But I don't think there's one in here. This is a trail of organs. <laughs> it's the organ trail. Hope I don't get dysentery. Sorry, that was a terrible joke, I know. <laughs> Alright, let's get our power slug here. Make our way to the top. And I think there's a couple more blue power slugs up here as well. Which is part of the reason why I want to come. But really, I just wanted I wanted something to do while our reinforced iron plate supply built up, right? Now that we have it automated. So yeah, so the jumping puzzle. You basically jump up the ledge and you come up right there. 
you come up here, I believe the crashed pod is right up there. And, okay, so you jerks are going to stay. I didn't wake them up, so they're going to stay in their thing, so that's good. That's fine with me. Put a bunch more jerks over here. Can we get up here without waking them up, though, is the question. Or wait, is that where we want to go, or here? Actually, I think it's out here that we want to go. We're going to have to wake up these ones, I think. These ones, at least. Maybe we can keep... Those ones can stay in bed. These ones, though, they're going to have to die. Ow, ow. Oh, oh there's a, something shooting me, too. All right, let's kill this guy, because at least we know this guy's not going to run away and be... A, oh, and they're not running now, are they? All right, so this is going to be the first time where I'm at an actual risk of dying. Okay, so he's dead. That's big. Okay, you're dead. Okay, so there is one of the big spiders up here. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, then. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh... doesn't camp my corpse what is that um <laughs> no like seriously <laughs> what is that is there anybody else in here no nope, just me uh <laughs> Is anybody, is, anybody, is anybody else seeing this? What is that? I mean, is it showing me where my corpse is? <laughs> oh, you know what? I should have grabbed. Let's grab some knots here. Let's see if we can get, get some health back. Because I don't have a weapon on me. I should have made a weapon. Well, if I die a second time, which I very well might we'll, we'll be more prepared for, for trip number three so let's heal up a bit here just so we can take a hit because there is one of those big spiders up there and honestly I do not want to fight it if possible I'm going to get my stuff and try to just get to where we want to go why what is that and why is it in the sky like I <laughs> I don't understand. It is right over where my corpse is, but last time I played, <laughs> they did not have whatever that is marking the corpse. And like, like graphically, it looks like, like the top of a portable miner, except like a hundred times the normal size. Right? Doesn't it? Uh, well, you can't see from here, but because we're right under it. Uh, do I want to grab some more nuts or mushrooms or something? Ah, YOLO. That is not where we want to go. It's over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the cave again. Or I guess I could take the ledge this time just to show. Yeah, let's go to the ledge just to show the jumping puzzle. Hopefully I don't fall and die. Well, the jumping puzzles are a lot easier once you get the leg things yeah you know what i'm gonna wuss out i'm gonna go the other way second you drink all right yeah i was not expecting a big spider up there like i've been up there multiple times before and i don't remember there ever being a big spider but that was uh that was a big spider <laughs> it's really no <laughs> Nothing else to say there. All right. Oh, there's a... Oh, go away. I don't have a weapon to kill you. <laughs> I do not want to die to those... <laughs> one of those little flies. I should have made a weapon. I should have made a weapon. Because if that giant spider or anything is camping my, my corpse or my, my box of stuff... <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I have literally nothing on me right now, except an alien carapace, which is not going to go very far at all. Okay, let me turn my flashlight on here. 
so everybody can see. Well, see a little better anyway. Okay. Yeah, I did not. I didn't see that big spider coming either. All right. So is that big giant thing going to be in the sky still? Is the question. I feel like I would see it already if it was there. No, nope, it is. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Why? What is that? Oh, go away. Ah, I don't have a weapon to fight you. I shouldn't I shouldn't have stopped to admire whatever the heck that is. Is it going to go away when I pick up my stuff? Am I going to be able to get my stuff without dying is the question. Uh, I kind of want to scope the scene, but that thing's still chasing me. I don't see the giant spider. I think it lives up above. All right. Um. Okay, now you die. Because you've been annoying me. Okay, well, uh, that was... He was, uh... He was squirrely. He did a number on me. Alright, so is that thing going to be in the sky still? Now that I have my stuff, I wonder? Yep, it's still there. What is that? Is it just a graphical glitch? Alright, so is there going to be a giant spider up here? Was the giant spider a glitch? Or whatever it was that killed me? Because I don't see a giant spider up here. I don't know where it would have went. Probably don't stand right at the edge, Looch. <laughs> That's a fantastic way to die. You dummy. Alright. Let's kill these. Let's get, get our hard drive and, and our, our slug and get out of here. Because I don't know what that is, but it's creeping me out. All right, circuit boards. So I got to kill this thing, though, don't we? Come on. Come on. Don't. I am not going to the edge. You're not baiting me into falling. Where did it go? There. All right, we got some cable. We got some reinforced plates. We got screws. We got a drop pod. We got a hard drive. Perfect. And what else are we looking at here? Oh, we got some copper wire. And that looks to be about oh, more circuit boards. I'll take four circuit boards. And all right, so let's go get this. Uh, what's we call it? This power slug. Let's build a couple of foundations here. Perfect. Let's go fight this thing. One thing that's cool with the enemies too, like as soon as I built those foundations, if I just waited, he would have came across my foundations to get me. The enemies do use your stuff against you, which is cool. Ah, I don't know what this is, but it's creeped me out. All right, can I get up here without falling to my death? You know what? I'm just going to play it safe. <laughs> there. Beautiful. Hey, look, it's my factory. Hi, factory. Keep doing your thing while I'm gone. Please. And thank you. All right, let's heal up. Because there's one more power slug over here that I want to get. But I think I might have to fight a couple things for it. But this is probably going to be my last big uh, field trip until I get the better weapon because I don't like going out with this weapon Did that thing see me looks like it despawned that thing in the sky is still there though angry sky guardian that spawned when I died <laughs> it's, it's vengeful it wants to kill all the aliens because they killed me I guess I don't know I don't know what that is that's crazy all right, so yeah, there's the power slug I was talking about. I'm going to get that, and we're going to head back to base. There should be some spiders around here. Yeah, they're there. Can they get up out of that gully, though, to get me? Oh, we're about to find out, I'm sure. 
<laughs> if they can, um, yep, no, they can. Come on, come on. Come on, little spiders. I'm not scared of you, especially if you come at me one at a time like this. I mean, easy mode. It's, you're just donating your organs. They sign their organ donor cards, for sure. That's fine with me. All right, one more power slug for the road. Perfect, and we're out of here. We're off like a dirty shirt. I'm surprised that one didn't, uh, surprised they didn't spawn. There is lots more cool stuff over here, but I'm, I'll come back. I'll be back this way. At least once. <laughs> because over here, there's a bunch of oil deposits down there. That's like the best spot in the game for oil. Or one of them. There's like two really good spots. The other one's way up that way. Anyway, it's a long ways away. And we are a long ways away from oil. Like, not only physically distance-wise, but technologically. <laughs> we're a ways away from oil, so we're not too worried about that. So let's go back down the cave we came in. Falling damage? Yep. There's falling damage. I just wanted to do that to show that there was falling damage. Yeah, that's why. That's why it happened. Sure, Luch, whatever you say. All right. So we should have a bunch of reinforced iron plates. So we're going to start on our our copper factory. We're going to make... We're going to increase our uh, amount of copper cable we're making. Or copper wire, sorry. And we will likely automate some cable as well while we're at it. And then, at that point, we should be able to unlock Logistics Mark II, which would give us Tier 2 belts, right? And then uh, that just opens up, you know, a whole new world of possibilities for, uh, for us building-wise. But that might not even be tonight. I got about half hour left on stream here. So we'll see if we can at least get the copper uh, set up done, right? At the very least. And there's a couple... Ooh, should I go? There's a couple of hard drives not far that way. No. We got enough hard drives now. Like I said, I don't want to do any more exploring until I get the... I forget what they're called, but they go on your legs to make you run faster and jump higher. And the better weapon. I don't really want to do any more exploring until I have those. Right? In my opinion. It just makes exploring so much easier. So we'll go back. We'll toss this hard drive in the machine. We'll research the ability to turn yellow slugs into power shards with the one yellow slug we just got. And then we'll start working on the uh, copper. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully the copper is all cleared out so we can just pull up, we can just tear down everything that we already have to make way for the, uh, the more efficient setup that I will be erecting. And do I need, do I have my chainsaw on me still? Yeah, let's do some chainsaw while we're out here too. I know I have a lot of biofuel built up, but I'm not exactly on coal yet, right? So I'm not quite, it's not, I'm not on the cusp of coal yet, right? So there's no point in, so I might as well make sure I have a lot of biofuel for now. Like Ro said, you know, rushing coal is a fantastic idea, but even rushing it, it still takes a while. But I, I wonder if you had, if you, especially if you had like multiple people, how fast could you get coal? Probably pretty quick. I would have to think. If you were like, if you had multiple people and you were really like, all right, let's get coal within three hours. It might be a fun thing to try sometime. If I can round up a few of my a few of my viewers. And I know I do have viewers that were interested in playing SAS Factory, so it'd be interesting. Alright. Perfect. What is up here? Probably nothing. Oh, oh, there's an enemy. <laughs> there was something. I just don't remember that ramp being there, I guess. Like I it's not like I've never been here before. I just never noticed that little natural ramp there before. So, that's what I meant by that. 
It was something new. Something I'd never noticed before, right? So I want to explore it, because, you know, I'm curious. You know, curiosity never killed any cats. Or humans. Or whatever I am. I think I'm a robot. Well, robot lady. In this game. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't think that was... No. I, I didn't think that was falling damage. And, well, and the, the things you get to go on your legs... The bionic leg things. They also mean, make it so you take less falling damage. Or you have to fall further before you take falling damage. Which is nice. So let's heal up. Let's throw... Sort. Throw some leaves in there. Throw the rest of the leaves. In here, all... Well, most of them... <laughs> Most of them made their way into the thing, but that's fine. And throw the wood in here. Alright. Let's store some stuff. Let's do... Let's do the yellow slug first. Yeah, because that's... Oh, wait. Need... No. Let's do the hard drive first. Alright. Yeah, throw some of this junk in storage. Maybe we don't need those, or those, or those, or those. Or circuit boards. Actually, let's turn the blue power slugs into shards. Um, let's store the yellow power slug. Yeah. All right, let's make four concrete, because four concrete's definitely going to make or break me. And power shards. So we have enough power shards now. We can, we can overclock all our miners when the time comes. Which is what we want. All right, let's go grab a bunch of concrete. Wait, how much concrete do I have? Uh, 123. Yeah, let's go grab a bunch more concrete. How are we doing for biofuel? Ooh, yeah, getting there. Let's go grab some biofuel too. Pop them all up just to be safe. Better safe than sorry, right? Uh, grab 600. That'll be plenty. How much concrete do I have built up? That's the real question. No, no, the real question is how much reinforced iron plates I have. That's That's the most important resource right now. Concrete's pretty important, too. And iron plates are pretty important, especially now that you need iron plates to make foundations. Like, that blue one, I did not know. I did not notice that in the patch notes for update 5, or whenever that was added. I assume it was update 5. But that changes, that changes things. Right? It used to be just concrete for, for foundations and ramps and all that. And now you need iron plates. Well, it makes sense. I mean, if you look at it, they look metallic, right? So it makes sense. Ooh, 136. That's a pretty good chunk. Okay, so this is this little factory's working fairly efficiently. I'm I'm happy with it. So let's uh oh let's grab some iron plates too while we're here. Cause we're gonna need a bunch of those. Yeah, we got no. My, my little starter bootstrap factories. It's working pretty well. I'm happy with it. It's ugly, but it gets the job done. And that's the important thing. All right, so where are we looking? Right here. So is this all cleared out? No. Is it somewhat cleared out? Yes. Uh, how much is in here? Ooh, that's a lot. I can't even hold all that. So it's just going to have to sit there for now. But what I could do is I could just put it all out here next to what I'm already doing, right? All right, so let's zoop. Time to zoop. So we want to zoop out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And then we'll go down... Let's soup out this way. Ten is the max you can zoop, so there's a ten zoop. And soup this way. Six. And fill in the gap. And now I'm trapped in the middle. Not really. I can get out there. And then we'll just go like this. 
Zoop and zoop. And zoop. Well, it's easier to zoop towards you, though, for sure. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Oh, I got all kinds of foundations. That's not a worry. Should I put this stuff here? Or should I? Hmm. Maybe I'll put it over here a little bit. Maybe I'll just go. Just leave some space in between the iron and the copper, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Leave a little space. All right, so there's two iron over there, so we need two rows of smelters. One, two, three, and four. And again, I'm only using two for now until I get those tier two belts, but that's fine. Put the smelters in so we know the, you know, how much space we have to work with. And we're looking at copper ingots. And copper ingots. And then let's put our mergers on our outputs. Beautiful. Alright. Actually, we only need... We do not need those last two to be hooked up yet. Maybe I should hook them up now, but eh. I just... Eh. <laughs> Just can't be bothered, you know? So, let's put another row of smelters right here. Line it up with the first row. Like that. Oh, you know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need another hand miner, or portable miner. Because we don't have the second copper uh, tapped yet. So let's go do that. Slide under this beast, this foul beast. Yep, should should probably make an extra spare Xeno Zapper and put it in storage for when I, for the next time I die. Because <laughs> as much as I'd love to sit here and say that, oh, I'm never going to die again. I died once, but that's it. I'm never dying again. It's not true. I'm going to die again. It's it's inevitable. <laughs> All right. What are we doing here? All right. Let's uh yeah, let's go tap this other copper. And belt it in. It's going to be a long belt, but that's fine. We have all kinds of iron plates. Now we can make long belts, right? It's not a big deal. That was weird. Couldn't get it. All right, we're going to leave this here for now. Eventually, we'll come back for it. Oh, these jerks respawned. Awesome. I'm so glad. I wanted to kill more bugs. No, I didn't. Once I get the better weapon, I won't mind killing bugs so much, but I hate this zapper. This zapper, like, I think I said earlier, the worst part of the early game was uh, having to refill your power all the time. Now that I think about it, the worst part of the early game is, uh, is whatchamacallit, is, is the zapper as your weapon. Okay, so that thing is still in the sky over there. I don't know whoever's whoever's in chat. Have you ever seen this thing just appear in the sky? Like, what is that? Why is it there? It appeared when I died. For some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's there now. And it's not going away. Wonder if it'll be there when I log out. Like if I when I come back in. If it'll be there. Maybe it won't. But maybe it will. <laughs> Turn you back on. Let's raise these up a bit so I can run underneath them. Oh, I don't even have the inputs done on these smelters yet. So I might as well do that first, right? And then we're going to have to bring power over. That is not a big deal. Power over here. We might as well power these ones up because we got copper coming in. We might as well, might as well process it, right? Get ahead of the game. Wait, we do have copper coming in, right? God, these belts are so slow. I forgot how slow these belts are. Can't wait to get tier two belts. 
All right. So this is input, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, splitters. Let's go. Yeah, right there works. And right there. And let's... Boop. You in. Noise. Alright, so we might as well power these ones up too. Wait, have we selected copper ingots yet? We have not. That's step one. <laughs> probably. Definitely. No probably about it. It's definitely step one. Two. Three and four. Oh, it's doing that thing again where it's not lining up. Is it lining up to like the next row? No, because it's the same. I don't know why it's doing that. Am I just misreading it? Okay, that's the right one there. Uh, whatever. Wait, is it? Nope, that's not right either. Why is this so hard? See, look, it's, it says it has a line there, and there, and there, and I'm pretty sure only the one in the middle is actually right. I don't know, that's weird. Whatever, it's working now. That's all that matters. And we got copper ore. Copper ingots. Yeah, I guess I probably didn't need this space in between, but you never know, right? So one of these lines of ingots, I'm just going to turn into wire. And the other one, I'm going to turn into cable. But that will be in the next step. So that's going to be all for this one. Uh, thanks for everybody who came out. Um, if you want to join me on the server, I'm, I'll am i be back on tomorrow evening, I think. Uh, it, it, this isn't a single player game. This is multiplayer, potentially. The information you need to join is on my Discord. Oh crap, I didn't top these up. <laughs> So if you want to join my Discord, link's in the description down below. Oh, I need to add more of these, too. Yeah, so I'm going to have to deal with power next issue before I do anything. Mental note, Looch. Deal with power before you do anything. But yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed the stream. Come on out tomorrow. We'll be doing more Satisfactory. Subscribe if you haven't already. But I am going to go watch the new episode of Wheel of Time. And if you're a fantasy fan, you should do the same. I know not everybody loves it. Some people say it's too different than the books. But I think it was I thought the ep, the first three episodes were really good. Episode one was a little rough, but episode two and three were excellent, I thought. So I'm excited to see episode four. But more importantly, I'm excited to see you back watching me again tomorrow. Thank you very much for coming out. We'll be back with some satisfactory same time tomorrow. So be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.